What's up guys, my name is Andres Villegas and today in After Effects, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple lower third. Check it out. First, open up After Effects, create a new comp. This guy we're gonna call, we're gonna go to 1080p by 29.97. We'll call it main comp. Make sure it is seven seconds. Go. Then we're going to create a new composition as well called Banner Comp. This guy is going to be 450 by 120. So you have that. Then we go to Layer, New Solid. This guy, we're going to make it white. Hit OK. And we're going to make it the comp size, which is 450 by 120. After that, we're going to create another solid, which is kind of like the inside of the banner. So we're going to call it inside banner. This guy is going to be 440 <clears throat> by 110. And it's going to be black. Okay, once you have those, uh, bring out the rulers. So how you bring out the rulers, command R, and also bring out the title action safe right here. Get a little closer, let's get a 200. And we're gonna create the, ban the line between the banner that divides the main text from the subtext. So with the pen tool, selecting. One time, then holding shift, hit the other end. I like to drag it to the to the actual cur uh, ruler, and make sure it's flat. Once that you have that done, then take away the ruler, just select, just scroll your mouse onto it, and then go up. So you get to get rid of it. Control R to get rid of the rulers and go back to Azure Safe and take it off. Then we go to the text tool and create the main text. I'm going to use my name. You can use whatever main text you want to type. I like to make sure it's in bold and a little bigger. So we have it right there. Then I rename it main text and Change the color to yellow. So that's gonna be our main text. Now we duplicate it. And move it a little down with the holding shift and the arrow going down. Change it to, I like to change it to light. And take it down a couple of points, so 24. It's a little higher, so we're gonna raise it up. I think that's good. On here we're gonna put animator. So now we have kind of like the design down. Now we're gonna animate. Oh, change the name of this guy to subtext. Uh, that way you don't confuse it. Nice and organized. Go to new. I mean, go to layer, new, solid. And I like to make it comp size. This is gonna be our, our alphas for the text. So first we do the top alpha. So make sure it goes down. You grab the shift and with the arrow keys, you go down into almost to the line that you had. That way it creates a nice alpha. And on, drag it to the main to the top of the main text. Go to the track mat, inverted mat. So now it's, now it's gone, you don't see it, but it's actually your alpha for it. Then we duplicate it. Put it on the top of the subtext. And same thing, you know, make sure your track map is better alpha. With this guy, we're gonna move it up. So it's got a buzz on top. Kind of line it up. Uh, let's see. Line it up with the, with the edge of the banner, uh, edge of the, of the 
the line, sorry, of the center line. Take it off so it's not visible, let render, and that should be good. So the first thing you want to animate is the bar, so coming in, so that way we have the banner, uh, the banner bar come in, I mean the bar in the center come in, then we're going to animate the text going up, the main text going up, and the subtext going down. So we want to move the anchor point so that way we can animate the scale. Move the anchor point to the left. Nice. Now we go to select the shape letter, hit S for scale, hit the stopwatch, then go down to one second. Take off the uh, constrain properties and hit no. I click, click on it and place place zero. Now we can see it. Sorry, I did that backwards, that's my fault. That should be zero here at the beginning. And a hundred here. At the end. Oh, no. That makes sense. It's nice, but we wanna make sure we ease in. So right click on the for the last point. Key assistant, ease in. Put in graph. Raise it up. Should be able to see it. Nice and smooth. I'm sure it's bar graph again. So, so like this one and then just, you know, just raise it up that too. Now we know that this bar is gonna be animated in one second. So we go down to half a second. 15 frames. Go to the main text, hit P. And now we're gonna Animate the position, so hit the time watch and position. Oh, sorry, no. Go, sorry, go down all the way to two seconds. Hit the P, so that was the landing. Then we'll go down to one second. And we move it down. Sorry, wrong axis. No, move it down. Then we have key assistance. Make sure you ease in. Now the bar animates and the main text animates. Now we're gonna do the subtext. So we go down to three seconds, hit the P, click on the time watch, go down to the two seconds, and make sure you go up. Point up. Same thing as before, the last frame, key assistance, ease in, raise it, and now we have Bar coming in, subtext, and the main text. Bar coming in, main text, subtext. So it feels a little slow, so I'll select all the keyframes, the main text, and just move it down. So select it, while hold, you know, click and hold and drag, and then drag them a little bit down. Right there, same thing with the subtext. Make sure we down. Animate kind of looks really good. So we have the inside of the banner animated. Now we're going to animate the main banner itself. So we go down to the main comp, select the banner comp, drag it inside. This guy, we're going to click again title action save so we can have a reference to where to place it. We go down, just drag it. I'll be drag it and I kind of line, line it up to the action save. You need the spacebar so it's just to do the hand tool. That way you can move the comp. And I like to, once I to the comp, I like to align it right there. So it's kind of HD title safe. So this line. This line is action, uh, titles, HD title safe. And this guy's action safe, if you don't know uh, the difference, if you ever worked on TV. Uh, it's kind of like uh, the standards uh, for HD graphics. And then for SD graphics, uh, we have this bar, which is title safe for SD and action safe for SD. Usually you want to keep, you know, want to keep everything in the title safe, which these are titles. So there we go. It's nice. Good. But we have to animate it in. So. We'll go down to the landing, so I'll go to one second, hit the P, go 
position. Hit the time watch, that's your landing. Go all the way down to zero. And then now we animate for left. Coming in from the left. Go down to the last point. The assistant, he's in. Boom. Yeah. Make sure in the, in the graph editor you raise the first one. You're not, you have a nice landing. And look, look at that. That looks perfect. I like to usually do some seconds nice enough time to, to read it. The landing and gives enough time for people to check it out. You can use this guy for any interviews or want to introduce a character in the blog. Usually you create this nice and simple uh, setup. So, uh, I hope you enjoy this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like. If you have not, be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'll have more tutorials coming in 2018 of the simple animations and graphics that can improve your blogs or your interviews or any kind of production that you're doing. Uh, thank you so much. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll try to respond as fast as I can. Also, um, if you have any requests for tutorials that you might see a cool graphic and that you have kind of like, want to know how I can break it down, I definitely would love to check it out. So, thanks so much guys.